Write down what you love about yourself right now. All the great things about you right now, right now. Hey guys, Vicky Lemons here and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so thankful to have you here. So this message came to me because if you already know, I found out that I'm an INFJ. Uh, the uh, Myers-Briggs 16 personalities test. I've always known that my personality was a little different. I would always say to my family, I have a special type personality because the way I interact with people is very um, different, I believe, than the way that they're used to interacting with people because I'm very kind, I'm very nice, but I'm also very confident and I'm very assertive and I'm very strong-minded and, and willed. And I think people are used to people being one way or the other. And so I come across not as everyone's like a cup of tea, but I know that and I'm okay with that because here's my thought process behind that. Who wants to be everyone's cup of tea? Who wants to be the person that everyone likes? What difference does it make if 80% of the people don't like me and only 20% of the people do? What difference in my world does it make? It doesn't make a bit of difference because what I've learned in life is that those who are for you will always be for you. Those who don't like you or won't, they never will. Nothing you can do can make them enjoy you. So why care if they don't like you? And I'm okay with being my own cup of tea. I like being the person that people don't quite get because I find that being everyone's cup of tea can make you seem a little mediocre. It's okay if everyone doesn't always understand where I'm coming from. It's okay if everyone doesn't like the way I say something. It's okay if everyone doesn't agree with what I say. It's okay. The thing about me not being for everyone is that I'm also not afraid to speak what I need to speak. I'm also not afraid to um, be my most authentic self because I'm afraid people won't like me. I'm also not afraid to challenge my path. I'm not afraid to be free, be free to be myself. I'm okay with not being for everyone. There's freedom in you being your most authentic self and everyone not adjusting to it. They don't need to adjust to your authenticity. They don't need to. Just like you don't need to adjust your authenticity to their me to to satisfy their mediocrity. So I don't know. This message was in my spirit to get out. Do you have issues like this? Do you have, um, does this happen to you where uh, maybe you feel like your personality is just not for everyone? And I'm here to tell you that, so what? Just be authentic. If you're authentic and you're true to who you are, then you're not meant to be for everyone. If your personality was meant to be for everyone, then the, then the weight of making changes, um, the power that's given to people who aren't afraid to be free in their, in their thought process, who aren't afraid to be free in their authenticity, is far more superior than people who would rather be mediocre just to get along with everyone. There's such a power in that. And I choose to be on the powerful side with very few than to be on the mediocre side with a whole bunch of people. So, I don't know. You tell me. Something that you deal with or nah? As always, I hope you have gained something from this message. I thank you for watching and God bless.